time to do our body. So I'm gonna click that, do our body. Um, basically, rename it to BOD. <laughs> B-O-D, no. Had a Y in there. Okay, time to do our shoulders. Okay, pen tool, you know the drill. Got right here, arrange that around. Uh, we'll go from the neck over there, and then uh, we're gonna create like a little V-neck here. Oh no! Um, now we're gonna have to go all the way around, around the clock, because we forgot to do it right away. Um, kind of bring that point down, kind of give it a little slant on the shoulders here. Let's go back to this point, and then we're gonna create like a little V right here for our V-neck, V-neck shirt. I don't wear V-neck shirts, but if I did, I'd imagine how this is how it looks. Okay. Good. Uh, more prominent feature, but I'm gonna say it's about the same as the mouth, so I'll go ahead and do that. Nice. All right, we're gonna. Uh, oh, I keep naming it just the thing. We gotta put underscore outline. There we go. Add a new layer underneath uh, the fill layer. Um, shoulders underscore 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 fill. Had a brain fart there. Sorry. Make it into the selection. Enter. All right. We're gonna go ahead and what should our? You know, I'm just gonna go with the classy black. You never can go wrong. Go back to my gradient tool. Kind of like I said, when it's either black or white, I'd never like to do pure black or pure white. I like to go a little bit off. So right there. It's a personal preference. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but it's what I've come to what I've come to believe in. Me a little bit bigger of a grain there. <laughs> Looks a little bit weird because it's on top of everything, so we should probably move that down below the head. Um, there we go. That's kind of a it's kind of a beefy body there. <laughs> I didn't I did not plan that one out. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and make our the the cuts for our arms here. Um, let's go make these uh, arm. Arms. Oh, All right, so basically, technique we're gonna be using here. I'm just gonna make that. Oh, I'm gonna make, make like a triangle, so that'll be our armpit. That'll that'll be our armpit right there. Um, that's a little bit high. Let's kind of move that. Let's kind of move that down. Don't wanna don't want our armpit to be too high. People will be looking at us funny. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and outline that. Not gonna see much because it is just, you know, next section. Boom. All right. So you notice we still have our shirt color. We still have our shirt color inside of here. Uh, we want to get rid of that, so we're just gonna select our shoulders, um, or this could be technically our shirt, and we're gonna hit delete. It's gonna cut out that stuff. It kind of gives us our arms. It, it, it's not a big effect, but it's subtle enough to the point where it's like, oh, okay. This guy's got arms. It's not just a floating shoulder piece. <laughs> Which would be amazing, but totally inconvenient if that were practical. Which, thank God, it isn't. Nobody wants to go around floating shoulders. That would be really awkward. All right, kind of match position here. F10. No, that's fill. F11. There we go. Go ahead and make that a suction. And we'll go back to our shoulders fill. Hit delete. There we go. We now have arms instead of floating shoulders. Um if you want. Can we can we move this up? Oh no. Too late for that. Okay. Well, I was thinking about just moving my whole head up, but yeah, it looks great. Alright, so now you can see there's no skin here, so we can go ahead and make a new layer. Kind of getting sloppy now, but um, just name this uh, chest. Put that inside the folder that was outside. You can notice by how it's indented. Alright, put it inside the folder, and then we're just. I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm gonna grab that color. I'm gonna grab the color of my face by hitting I on my keyboard. It gets our eyedropper. I'm gonna click there once, and then um, I'm gonna go back to my brush. Make it really big by holding my right bracket on my keyboard. That makes it big, and then just gonna kind of fill that in. Kind of sloppy, 
I know, I'm sorry. Um, if you want to clean it up, here's how you can do so. I'm going to put my brush back real quick. Okay. Um, if you want to clean that up, you notice how if I, uh, if I solo this clip, I don't know if you can solo. I'm just going to disable everything but that. Um, oh, no, that's part of the... There we go. You see that? It's a little bit sloppy, but when you on your body, it looks fine. Um, actually, I missed a little spot there. Let me just kind of clean that up. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, you see that? Uh, if you want to clean up that big blob, basically what you're going to want to do is click your shoulders, and then um, click W to get your magic wand, select the inside, hit Control shift i to invert it so now you have this whole part selected go to your chest hit delete and that's going to delete everything that that leaked over into this area and then to get the rest you're just gonna have to kind of erase it tough luck make my eraser bigger uh, cut off everything up there all right so now when you take off everything else slightly better oh Oh, I still have this selection right here. So notice how I can't erase anything that's not in that selection. If I get rid of that selection, then hit my eraser again. Boom. Classy. <laughs> Getting rid of T-Nex since 1994. <laughs> yeah. Great. Beautiful. So that's that done. Hit save again because it's dev devastating if you don't. Um, I think I think we're ready for the most fun part. Well, in my opinion. Um, this is shading. All right, are we ready for this? Everyone, take a deep breath. All right, we're gonna start with our hair because that'll make the most difference, in my opinion. Create a new layer. Name this hair underscore H L for highlight. We're gonna go ahead and grab our brush, but this time we're gonna go back to our presets right here, and we're gonna click on uh, airbrush soft round 50% flow. Double click that. That's going to make that active. Now, if you make your brush really big by holding your right bracket, um, you're going to want it to be about this size right here. Right here. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to get a nice white color. So notice I have white right there. And you're basically going to paint where you think um, if light were spilling from right here, or you, you can pick a different angle, but let's do the same thing. If light were spilling from right here, what would be highlighted and what would get shadowed so um highlights would be right here maybe uh, along the top and then kind of leak off i uh, keep your hand on Control z because there's gonna be a lot of trial and error with this whole process and that that's where i think the light would go that, that's where i think the light would be um notice how it spilled over the edge edges like over here um and we don't want that so let's go back to our outline layer this is really important uh, this is where it comes back to being really important to have your outline and your fill on different layers. If you hit W, select the outside, click anywhere outside your outline, and that will select everything outside. Now if we go back to our highlight, hit delete, it'll delete everything that went outside of those boundaries. Um, notice how it's a little bit strong? Let's select our highlight layer, go to opacity, bring that down. Um, less is better when it comes to shading. So whenever in doubt, just think less is better. I'm probably going to go to soft light, something like that. Yeah, soft light. Soft light is good for um, shading because it kind of gives it that uh, blend look. If I went back to normal, eh, that doesn't look as good. But if I go to soft light, ooh, that looks spicy. No, or maybe even overlay. Soft light is a little bit darker. Hard light is totally out of control uh overlay's good whoa i started scrolling while i still had my thing selected so that went crazy um there you go highlight now we're gonna do the same thing except for call this one h uh hair underscore shadow do the same thing but you guessed it we're gonna be doing it with black this time for shadow so if i were doing that the shadow would probably be on this side remember less is better so and right there nope right mm, right there good and the reason why we have the brushes so big is that so it it's like smoother if we had it really small look what would happen basically we're creating lines right but once it's big 
Yeah. All right. And we're gonna hit our outline layer, W, click outside, go back to our shadow layer, hit delete, and I'll get rid of everything outside. Um, let's go to overlay and see if that darkened it. Yeah, that darkened it. All right, good. Uh, now, if you want to go one step further and be a total awesome person, you can actually add texture to the hair. And um, yeah, this is basically how you do that. All right, so uh, what I did is I just grabbed this little texture off Google Images. Um, just search um, hair texture on images.google.com and it'll give you a whole plethora of things. Uh, keep in mind copyright stuff, but uh, you're gonna be editing this to the point where it's not really gonna be matter. Um, but just be aware, it's always great to be aware. Anyways, click and drag that in, and then uh, rotate it to go with the flow, flow of your hair. Uh, drag it up, now oh, here, notice how the shading, the shadowing kind of already took effect on this thing. Uh, you're gonna wanna put this below our outline layer. It kind of did that by default. Right click, Rasterize. If you don't see that, uh, that means it's already rasterized. You're good to go. Uh, basically, what that means is if it has that little icon right there, that means it's not rasterized. And if you go ahead and you try to, so I selected the outside. If you try to delete it, it's gonna say you can't because it's it's not rasterized. So you're gonna go ahead, right click, click rasterize layer. Now you can go ahead and delete it. All good and dandy. Now you're gonna go over to overlay or soft light. I'm gonna kind of switch the two between the two with my arrow keys. Um, soft light looks a little bit better on the shadows. And then uh, there you go, that's your texture terror. It looks really great. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save right there. And then, um, yeah, I like it. I really, really like it. Um, so uh, after you take step back and admire your work, let's start working on shading your head. So we're gonna go do head highlight right here. I already made it and then brush and then you're gonna go ahead and get a nice white brush and you're gonna kind of simulate where you think the shadows would be. Kind of right here. Well, no, it's kind of tricky because your hair is kind of like right here. I'm gonna, hmm, I'm gonna go for it. Uh, notice how it affected my hair, but we're gonna go ahead and click our head outline, get rid of anything that's spilled over there. Okay, that didn't really do anything. And you know what? I'm just gonna go to my hair layer, select my hair outline, select the outside of that, and then I kinda invert it by holding Control Shift Invert. So now everything in here is selected. So now I wanna go to my highlight and delete. Deleting everything in there. Huh. Let me try getting rid of that again. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I was putting, look, I was putting this all on my hair layer. Yeah, I was putting it on my hair highlight layer for some reason. Okay, I'm kind of control zing back through everything. Yeah, I was putting that on my golden hair texture. Okay, let's do our actual right layer, correct layer here. Uh, I'm gonna see how that looks. A big, my only issue is that the hair is in the way, so you technically wouldn't have a shadow there. Oh, so when I hit Control Z, it goes back up to this. Okay, be careful of that. Okay, see, it went back up to that as soon as I hit Control Z, so whatever. I click that every time. Okay, I'm gonna see how that looks. So, oop. Go ahead and select outside by hitting Nope, wrong layer. Go to your outline layer, click the outside, delete. Good. Now I'm gonna, uh, highlights and should always go underneath your outline. Um, kind of switch between blending modes here. Which one looks the best? Um, how's overlay look? Okay, kind of bring it down. Yeah, maybe 40%. You can always mess with the opacity if it looks too strong or anything. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save right there. Now time to do the shadows. Uh, new um, head, not hair. Head underscore shadow. Um, sorry for dragging this on too long, guys. I just want to show you guys the whole process. 
Um, and shadow. Gonna create it like a little. There we go. Nice. And then we can go ahead, outline, select the outside, delete the excess, and then boom, we good to go. All right, I'm gonna go back to soft light. No overlay. That kind of gives it like a orange tint. I kind of cycle through by using my arrow keys. Uh, see which one looks the best here. Eh, I think just normal and then mess with the opacity. Yeah, there you go. Good stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Great. Now we want to start working. Uh, if you want, you can start doing designs on your shirt. If you want to go into that much detail, I'm going to kind of show you how I do that. Cool. Kind of, like I said, when it's either black or white, I never like to do pure black or pure white. I like to go a little bit off. So, right there. It's a personal preference. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but it's what I've come to what I've come to believe in. Maybe a little bit bigger of a gray in there. <laughs> Looks a little bit weird because it's on top of everything, so we should probably move that down below the head. Um, time to do our body. So I'm gonna click that, do our body. Um, basically, rename it to Bod. <laughs> B O D. No, had a Y in there. Okay, time to do our shoulders. Okay, pen tool. You know the drill. Got uh, here. Arrange that around. Uh, we'll go from the neck over there, and then uh, we're gonna create like a little V-neck here. Oh no. Um. There we go. That's kind of a. It's kind of a beefy body there. <laughs> I didn't. I did not plan that one out. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and make our the the cuts for our arms here. Um. Let's go make these. Uh. Our arm. Arms. Alright, so basically, the technique we're gonna be using here. I'm just gonna make that. Oh, we're gonna make make like a triangle, so that'll be our armpit. That'll. And we're gonna have to go all the way around around the clock because we forgot to do it right away. Um, kind of bring that point down. Kind of give it a little slant on the shoulders here. Let's go back to this point, and then we're gonna create like a little V right here for our V neck. V neck shirt. I don't wear V neck shirts, but. If I did, I'd imagine how this is how it looks. Okay, good. Uh, more prominent feature, but I'm gonna say it's about the same as the mouth. So go ahead and do that. Nice. All right, we're gonna. Uh, oh, I keep naming it just the thing. We gotta put underscore outline. There we go. Add a new layer underneath uh, the fill layer. Um, shoulders underscore 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 fill had a brain fart there sorry make it into the selection enter all right we're gonna go ahead and what should our you know i'm just gonna go with the classy black you never can go wrong go back to my gradient 